what is up youtube it's your girl ishi it's her and i am me and i am back with another video how was everybody doing today hope you are doing good great vibey i like good stuff i am doing wonderful even better for put my seatbelt on to stop being the leader. probably helps that would probably help anyway uh i already know what it is back with another lunchtime car chronicles huh. get that down a little bit my hands are ashy sorry sorry hands are a little bit on the ashy side but it's cool or whatever um i just want y'all to know it feels absolutely magnificently wonderfully gracious out here and i just want y'all to know that just want y'all to know that so i hope y'all enjoying this weather because this is the type of weather make you want to quit your job and stay outside all day just a little bit just a little bit anyway i'm on my way to go get lunch and uh well i'm on lunch i'm on my way to go pick up my sandwich from the johns of jimmy because that's what we eating today because i didn't pack anything and i didn't cook anything but I do got some strawberries. I did do that. I did that part. I got some strawberries. Strawberries. Let's not. I got some strawberries for my healthy snack. <laughs> I left my water in, in the building though. And I don't want to go back in there. Is anybody else like this? Like when you are on your lunch break and you are outside of work and you're away from work, if you forget something in the building, you refuse to go back because you don't even want to see that place for the next however long you got on your lunch break. That is very much so me. I can't stand. I can't stand it. So I'm going to be out here slightly choking having indigestion because i refuse to go get the water i could very much so go get some water for free from jimmy john's but i think they give you them little people play cups and i don't like that i don't like that at all they don't give you regular cup they give you that plastic cookout cup not even a red solo cup the other one the cheaper one the one that um hold maybe a couple sips of juice and then you going back to get some more and people looking at you like you dehydrated and you are because they bought them cheap small cups to the cookout that don't nobody really like but ain't nobody gonna say nothing because they didn't pay for it so yeah that that's the dilemma i face on today that's the type of cups they give you and i don't want to be that person that be like and I get a cup of water that's complaining but let me go grab my sandwich I'll be back all right so we back in the car we got our sandwich we good we good we're good this little area that Jimmy John's in I don't know who told them to build up right here and not expand this parking lot but they did it is busy and small through here so if you don't know how to drive I suggest you not come through here. But so is life. Anyway, I have nothing. Well, I have something to talk about. I was going to talk about All Star Weekend, how all these people were going to Atlanta. But um, that's not my concern because I don't have a spouse. So um, my concern with this All Star Weekend is people exposing Atlanta like this like I didn't know Atlanta was so hot I don't mean like temperature I mean like crime like I didn't know they was down like that leaving your car on center blocks and like on mechanic jacks and taking all your wheels and the rims and all that and breaking into cars like smashing windows and uh what else I saw? Somebody car, they took the doors. Oh, somebody, like, okay, what type of time do you have to have to take doors off of a car? Like, where do you even get the tools? Like, and why 
why do you just need the doors? Like, you didn't even take the whole car. You just took the doors. I don't... I didn't know Atlanta was so hot like this. And, and that's one of... To be honest, that's one place I would want to visit. Never been to Atlanta. Never been to Georgia, period. But never been to Atlanta. And that's one place I would want to visit because, you know... Growing up, you hear like Atlanta and the hot Atlanta, and you know what I'm saying. Like you, you hear how good Atlanta is and all the things that they have to offer. Then the All Star Weekend, that's all commercial what they were doing, like running ads for how they're promoting Black entrepreneurs and Black businesses and the projects that they have going on down there. And you know what I'm saying, like the history of Atlanta, and you know that's some place I've always wanted to visit, especially Ebony Ever. Ebenezer Baptist Church I've always wanted to visit just you know just because it's a historical landmark I've always wanted to go there now y'all making me rethink my decision and on top of that they, the, the way they be talking about the malls like how it's hot like you gotta come with a toolie and everything like I just wanna shop I don't wanna get shot I don't know I, I don't know it's really making me think. So I need some ATLians, people who've been to Atlanta. Do they jack your stuff even if you park it in like the hotel garage? And if you're not parking it in a hotel garage, if you're parking it at somebody's house that you know down there, like, you know what I'm saying? Is it best to just take an Uber everywhere you go? Like, I need some advice because I still want to travel and I still want to visit there, but I didn't know it was like that down there. Like, party i want to go to the club i don't want to get shot though but i mean that's that's a risk anywhere to be honest i'm not even worried about clubbing shot because you can get shot at the club here hell you can get shot going to get some food here so that's not really my concern but i do want to know more about atlanta so if there's somebody who has some experience in the area of atlanta um the to do's and what not to do's where to go where to park where not to park take a uber don't take a uber walk use public transportation y'all tell me because i don't i don't really know i'm green naive to stuff like this so you in atlanta you let me know because I, I do hear a lot of people say you wonder why i don't go out in atlanta and they talk about the prices and stuff and like park found the parking and how much you got to pay for parking how much you got to pay to get in the club and all that other stuff like i hear that you know what i'm saying a couple I've, I've heard that but i didn't know that you take the risk of coming outside and not being able to drive home because they didn't took the doors off your car or they didn't took your whole tires like they left your car up on some jacks like where y'all getting these mechanic jacks where y'all can just afford to just leave them anywhere like and are you wearing gloves because your fingerprints is on those if you're not and i wouldn't advise you leave that there because that's not safe um but that's just me you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to figure it out so i plan on doing a lot of traveling this year this summer whatever um so yeah just let me know let me know what I need to look out for, what to expect, what not to expect, what to do, where to go, where not to go, especially in Atlanta now that I see how y'all getting down, um, or how y'all was getting down on All-Star Weekend with all them people down there. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but this video was short today. I'm going to eat. I ain't really have nothing to talk about. These people definitely getting on my nerves all the time. I just have no no words but we'll talk about that tomorrow we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about work tomorrow we'll talk about work tomorrow because I'm, I'm hungry right now and i want to eat so i'll see y'all tomorrow thank you so much for watching i might come back a little later after i work out. i don't know we'll see thank you so much for watching until tomorrow peace